Hi everyone, it's just a short video this week um, about maybe buying a Sprinter van. Trying to anyways. But I just wanted to mention at the beginning of this video that because my videos are so sporadic right now and not coming out on a regular um, schedule, that if you hit the notification bell, first subscribe to my channel, and then hit the notification bell, you will get notified by email or text, or I'm not sure how it works, but uh, when my videos do come out so that you don't miss them. I would hate for you to miss anything. Anyways, enjoy the video. Phone call completed. Hi everybody. I'm back and I'm shopping for a van. I got my friends with me. I got Val in the back seat. You remember her? She was. She's a former um, co-star, guest star on my channel previously. She drove my van back from Las Vegas. And I got Lorna. She's also a regular. She's a regular guest star on my channel because I go camping with her all the time. But I'm on my way to Kamloops because there's a 2014 Sprinter van there that's for sale. That looks like something I might be able to use instead of this teeny tiny little Dodge Grand Caravan. So we're going to be there in about half an hour. I will update you when we get there. Well, we're on our way home. I didn't buy a van. <laughs> okay, couldn't think what to say there. Um, yeah, I didn't buy the van yet. I may still go back, but somebody else is looking at it tonight. So I might not have the opportunity to buy it. But if I do, I'm pretty interested. It just made some sort of squeaky noises. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I'm not used to vehicles that make squeaky noises when you hit the brakes or do whatever. And I know if I leave that comment on for YouTube, everybody's going to say, oh, well, that's the noise that tells you that it needs new brake pads, but it wasn't that kind of squeak. So I might have a mechanic look at it before I buy it. So still in progress, I'm trying to figure it out. I'll keep you posted. Well, that was my trip to Kamloops. Uh, short and sweet with the van I really liked it it was a 2014 Mercedes Sprinter van and when I'm looking for a van that's bigger than the caravan that I have <clears throat> I'm looking for something that is ready to be built into actually something that's more ready to be um, used right now for me that's accessible for me but doesn't have a full build in it because I don't want to do a build in a van until I've been in it for a while and know exactly what I want because the there is the possibility that I would move into my van eventually I loved living in my caravan a couple of summers ago I lived in it for five months and um while there was some things that were really hard, I really enjoyed the lifestyle and I liked being able to wake up somewhere different every every uh, morning or, or stay somewhere for a while if I wanted to. It was really great. But the caravan presents a lot of problems just because of how small it is. Um, everything seems really awkward and I always come home from my long trips, my Arizona-Mexico trips, feeling a little bit sick because I do drive through so much and I do a lot of canned food because it's really hard to cook in my van and getting around on the desert floor um, where I park often is just too difficult. So I don't eat very well. Um, I think that's just one of the problems. But anyways, that's one of the reasons I'm looking at the Sprinter van today or that day. Um, but there's a lot of problems. My house, as you uh, will see in, in the next couple of clips, is not, it's not easy for me to get in and out of. The only way that I can get in and out of my house, because I live in the upstairs, is through the garage. So I have to drive up to the garage because my wheelchair won't do the hill. I can't do the hill um, to wheel up, which is one of the reasons I brought my 
bought my front drive, which you will see if you look back in, in uh, some of my videos, you'll see that. Uh, but anyways, I'm rambling. I really would like to buy a bigger van. I'm not sure that's part of a good plan for me right now. But anyways, what I'm going to show you now is my driveway. And this is just one of the reasons why I couldn't buy that van when I was in Kamloops that day. Uh, because I don't have a place to park it. I could park it on the street, but I would never be able to get back up to the house from the street. So uh, here's a little look at my driveway. So like I mentioned in my last video, my garage is very small. So a sprinter van would not fit in here if I bought one. The extra space on that side is so that I have room to get out of my van with the lift. And then you can see there's hardly any space over there. But I mean, the door is just barely wide enough to get through with my mirrors. So what we want to do is remove that or move that retaining wall. This is like a parking pad here. So we'd remove the retaining wall and I would kind of back up here because the lift would now be on the passenger side and back right into that hole there. But the other thing that I mentioned is how steep my driveway is. I know it's hard to tell from this. Just a minute, I gotta get a different angle. I don't know, you probably still can't see how steep it is. But you can see the stairway. The top of the stairway is at the top of the driveway. The bottom of the driveway is nearly at the bottom of the stairway. And you would never put a ramp straight up a staircase because it's too steep. So that's what my driveway is like. Okay, and also an update on the van that I looked at in Kamloops. It's now, I think that was two weeks ago that I uh, filmed that. And yesterday, I asked the guy that was selling it to let me know if he sold it because I was really interested. I just couldn't buy it until I made sure that everything else was in place for me to be able to actually make it work. Um, he contacted me yesterday and told me that he sold the van. So... It's a little bit disappointing, but it's actually been a really good experience of, <coughs> excuse me, of figuring out exactly what I would need in a bigger van, what kind of van I want. I mean, I don't have all the answers yet, but this was a really good um, time of really trying to think things through. And now I can think it through even more clearly without the emotional pressure of, oh, is that van gonna sell? I really liked it. Um, so anyways, that one's gone. So now I'm still trying to decide what to do. Do I fix up my van and put a little bit of money and some more permanent changes into it? Or do I keep looking for a bigger van? The more affordable way is to really look at, um, how I can make my caravan more practical for me. And that is probably what I'm going to do. I really like my caravan. I love driving it. It's good on gas. It's way better on gas than what a Sprinter would be. The one we looked at, it was a uh, diesel and I've noticed that diesel costs a little bit more than, um, than gas does, uh, per gallon or per liter. So, uh, anyways, I'm still up in the air and I just wanted to get a video up just so you knew that I hadn't forgotten about everybody and that I still want to keep this channel going. It, it is just hard to do content when I don't, when I'm not out there traveling. I'm going to try and get one up today. And then I have a couple of other ideas for ones that I might do in the next few days as well, just so that I can hopefully hold your interest and keep you interested. Anyways, that's it for this week. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.